with y'all Grand Bridesley and Shalonda or Shay Seeking and we're back um, and again this is not your mama's Bible study because we know that their story some or his story sometimes lies so we're here to tell hers okay through the energy of the Ruach okay wisdom okay which is a woman in the book of the Apocrypha okay in the book of Solomon I believe I don't know if it's um, Song of Solomon or how it's worded okay but I'm sitting here and I'm looking at energies and I'm reading mother I'm reading energies today. Okay? <laughs> Unlike Hercules, Achilles, and Perseus, demigods were seen more negatively by ancient Israelites, okay? But again, Israelites is not Israel. It's the lighter version, whether you want to say that's DNA, skin color, or um the uh those who are grafted in, okay, to Israel, okay? more than likely we're talking about foreign energy intertwining with the origines okay so again this is what i do for a living pretty much for free i've been doing it for about 10 years researching this um here text and other biblical texts okay so again as a seer a oracle a living god energy on this plane someone who seemingly must be a cornerstone that was rejected okay by the builders okay so i don't know how I feel like they can go ahead and dismiss the original architect but okay all right so this is what makes me think about this energy this father-like energy that was um surrounding me okay that i feel that presence i don't know i think this person i think this energy is kind of like that energy of that dying energy of Ra. okay where again um those who were left behind in, in, in this energy of binding or blinding, using all of their power to bind or blind the empress, which would be his wife, which would be the one that would be the inheritor of the land or the one that would be um, that particular soul heir, okay? Um, energy, all right? So let's see, divine love bringing an end to elect trust because i was just thinking about trust and trust funds and trust issues okay and who's really dealing with them or do some of us just know okay so it says between cupid and the devil okay so again this is giving me um lovers lover boy lover girl energy here okay um yeah trust between cupid and the devil right so i don't know about who this devil energy is i feel like again society has tried to vilify or try to create a devil out of a god okay but i also feel like there is a devil energy okay i feel like this cupid energy may have been dealing with god at one point in time but maybe had fallen because of some type of behavior possibly or felt as though they had which they probably hadn't but again outside influence okay lack of trust or something of that nature someone even maybe thinking that somebody was coming to step on their toes or maybe not not deal with them and deal with others okay so again this cupid and the devil energy this is almost where i feel like divine masculine and this other feminine energy that he's conspiring with behind the scenes which could be again it could be the um Mer the merkita energy that put the spell on solomon okay because uh, they they tend to think merkita and sheba are the same but sheba is not merkita sheba is the original queen empress energy Mer merkita is maybe the more what the public or society would call um that energy because of her beauty okay with the standardized uh vision of what beauty would be in this day because when we look at venus we look at these images of her being this beautiful goddess naked and things like this sometimes pictured as a white woman a so-called white woman okay um but if you go back into the ancient energy and you see the clay figurines that the people formed they looked nothing like that she was not probably that pleasing to the eye okay but it wasn't about her eye right okay it was about her nectar or it was about her essence it was about her cup it was about that type of energy okay it was the energy that was running through her okay so let's see the the way she was able to manifest and see this is what i'm saying people want to go ahead and call hold on one second and interrupt see nobody wanted me to come to the car but i know i've already been observing energies today and i'm like hold on real quick something ain't the fuck right okay an artistic representative of love being corrupted by uh, corrupted and God 
bringing it to an end. So, like I said, enough is enough. All right, we're gonna go ahead and see what God or what source is telling us today. Again, that in that 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 energy would be running. Uh, it's almost like that energy. You know, you see all those ancient. And these are for people that are historians, okay? Indigenous historians or people that look into stuff like this. All right. So we're going to get down up on into this. Because a motherfucker feeling some kind of way. Too many things down the scene. Okay? So. We're going to try to do this very... Without me being so, you know, all the way myself. And how I'm feeling right now. So. <clears throat> I'm guessing this observation or something has been brought in, okay? To try to put my life on blast, all right? To try to make me out to be something or someone as if I'm not the same offline as online or whatever it may be, okay? So I done made it back <clears throat> to this temporary home to grab the cards. And, you know, they in there. The D-Baby, my daughter, my two daughters, one of my twins, and my littlest one, and the Taurus, maybe Aries, I don't know. Uh, well, at least that's what he said when he had some spirits in him. See, and that's the thing that is the confusing thing to me, okay, is being able to read who these spirits are. That are taking up space in these people possessing the homes or the vassals or the vehicles um, of beings on this plane right now. Okay, so I'm thinking we back in Enoch. And I think I have the book of Enoch. Okay. So we have this three of cups energy. And I get you know what I'm what's coming because I don't I'm not like a reader like that. I, these cards they do something different for me. Okay. So with this three of cups coming out like this. <clears throat> Okay, let's see, because it, it might have just been out. But we're we just going to go ahead and say it, okay? This three of cups here may be people trying to take this opportunity because they know that I'm on to them to try to turn what I'm about to say and what I'm about to do into something that's going to be victorious for these three feminine energies, okay? That may be working with these masculine energies against me, this goddess, this empress energy of this day and age, okay? This Christ energy that has come, Okay? Because in in the sealed portion, it says that, they, and I, I believe it might have been in the biblical text too, that said that there wasn't one good man or one honest man, okay? So that God do, did something different. So maybe he took a feminine energy, hid her as a feminine energy, and gave her masculine qualities, okay? Uh, yeah, maybe even king of wands, because we got this king of wands here with this masculine energy here. Um... Yeah, this is this energy of the seven of pentacles with this man, with this plant here, okay? Shed, and he, he's using the palm of his hand, okay, to shed light on this plant here that he's been growing. But it has all these seven pentacles. Now, these seven pentacles at the bottom is reminding me of the seven stars, okay, on the star card, all right? But it's kind of like hidden, like a hidden gem, a hidden energy here, okay? Something that's festering, growing, molding. Someone is still, you know, taking care, okay, of this plant there's something that's growing here that it's almost like he's giving birth it's almost like this could be his womb an artificial womb or a womb outside of himself okay the way that this these pinnacles are growing underground with these roots entangled and this little tiny plant coming out of the ground in front of him okay and then we have the king of the king of wands here which is this masculine energy standing here with this torch in his hand but really the top of the torch it looked like fire but if you look closely it's really a crown here okay and then standing behind him in the desert, this area is a lion, okay? A masculine lion, okay? Lion, lion, not a lioness, okay? But we do have this page of wands energy that just flew out, okay? This girl, she's standing in midair, jumping and dancing. There's a circle of light around her, and she's throwing her wand up in the air, okay? It's kind of like a free throw, okay? 
a javelin throw almost is what she kind of doing all right so we got the queen of wands energy here sitting in her zen in her zone she got her own light in the palm of her hand and she's raising up her wand into the ether or into the universe here okay there's a black cat sitting in front of her okay so she's kind of sitting, her throne is maybe being grounded here, okay? She's sitting around, there's a whole bunch of little tea light candles around her on the ground, and the seat that she's sitting in is illuminated here, okay? Okay, it's illuminated. She's got a skirt, a long dress, a, well, a long skirt on with a half top, okay? And she's smiling, and like I said, in one hand she has this ball, this flame of light that looks like a flame of fire, okay? There's light behind her, and she has this wand in her hand, okay? I'm just trying to pick up on the energy here before we go ahead and continue to read. Sometimes it just have me do it that way. So we got the magician here coming in sideways, all right? So again, she's in this, I wouldn't say it's a dark energy, but she is clothed in sackcloth or in darkness here. There is this magician symbol on her head, okay, on her hoodie, all right? She is um, drawing up something or using her hands to illuminate something in the... It, it looks like a dark hole or a black hole or the ether, but it's actually on the ground, right? And she's elevated on some cushion or some platform and she's her head is bent down looking at this energy with this purple and teal and light green kind of energy swirling around here, okay, underneath her, okay? So it's almost like she's creating something out of thin air or even, you know, <clears throat> illuminating or manifesting something here, okay? So we do have this tower card, and I don't know what this tower card is for. What I feel is that I feel like these masculine energies or these angels or these fallen angels or these Nephilim energies, um, Nephi Lim, okay, <clears throat> maybe hoping that this is a tower moment for this empress or this goddess because she's finding out what they've done, okay? You see, and that's what I'm saying. God sees, you know, it's like the empress sit high and look low. She may not sit as low, sit as high as the universe, okay, or the ether, but she's in tune with it, very much in tune with it, okay? So the world is not going to be able to see, she's going to see the world, this is somebody that's going to see this world in a different light than anybody else. There's no other connection, right? The communication could be off because somebody could be hiding this energy, all right? They could use, they could be using tech to hide this energy, Okay. All right, so we have the Hierophant here, okay? This man is very joyous, sitting Indian style here at the bottom of a flight of stairs, reminding me of Jacob's Ladder here. And there's a um, eternal light or something here or light beam up here at the top of these stairs. And he's just sitting down here at the bottom or the base of these stairs, you know, in, in a joyful, glee kind of energy here, gleeful energy. Okay, so we have this emperor sitting here on something that seems to be, um, well, there's the black and white checkerboard floor, but it's covered in blood or red. We have this, um, you know, skeleton of this goat or something, some kind of animal hanging on the wall. He has a chess piece in his hand. So again, let the games begin. Okay. Um, and he's sitting here on this ball of light. I don't know. It kind of looks like the earth, but it's purple and red and orange and, and gold. Okay. All right. So we have the three of pentacles here in reverse. All right. And they're weaving something here. Somebody's making like a, a macrame kind of thing with some colorful emblems in the middle here this man is up here standing here holding it and supporting whatever this is as she takes these pinnacles and places them here and she has a partner that's sitting here next to her um on the ground beside her with the yarn um helping knit these pinnacles okay and she's hanging them on this um this wall hanging or this macrame hang hanging here okay so again that's making me think about something as in Mm, somebody's not supporting this anymore okay I feel like in I feel like that's the energy that came in here okay they're either not supporting the energy of whatever's going on with this okay or they're not supporting this energy anymore because again it's a wrap so somebody wants to try to make someone come out to be something that may not be stable but in all actuality I feel like this emperor energy is dealing with okay this is matter of fact this three of pentacles is usually crafty council somebody taking up crafty council so again this crafty council could be in reverse these secret meetings this something something could have been exposed or exploited or brought to the light here and that may be why this is in um, reverse here all right but again, the fa fact that this person is supporting, this is the thing. It's two things that I'm reading in this Three of Pentacles card because it's not the regular Three of Pentacles. This is the, the Light Seer's deck, okay? So it's a more joyful deck. So I'm trying to bring balance to this, okay? 
So again, I feel like something has been exposed where these people cannot do crafty counsel anymore, okay? But the my thing is, is this emperor supporting this energy still because this is in reverse or is this emperor not, okay? So we have this ace of pentacles energy here. It's almost like somebody's trying to offer a pinnacle. I don't know what this pinnacle has to do with some type of finances or something because somebody got caught or because they're worried about what may come out because of this. How far will I go? When it comes to what I'm seeing here, how much of it will I display and put on display for the world here? Okay, and again, somebody like me is not afraid of these people trying to put me in chains or lock me up because I know who I am. And so I don't fear that energy, okay? I fear no man on this plane, okay? And I feel like these people think I should be fearful because I feel like this.